what's happening youtube more motivation reactions back with another reaction video so this is an old video actually and i came across it on my facebook and it's called fitness coach has a stalker so let's dive into this and see <laughs> if i have any thoughts about it you know how this when uh all stalkers seem to be men okay we seem to be the bad for everything so in this case it's different don't be telling me to look at this come on it's about this guy named coach kelp i don't care what does that guy do with me i'm going in the library the library there's no library at my school the school you just fucking follow me from Beware of what people keep around you. Beware. Human nature. Human nature. All the women out there that want to call the guys stalkers that you're not attracted to, or whatever the reason is, I've dealt with actually a few of these in the past. I'm not going to even go into that. Beware the people you keep around you. Beware if you keep your social media profiles public and all that stuff just beware there's some crazy people out there both genders i'm not here to say men women both genders there's some weird people for both believe me i've dealt with them in the past and i'm in the place now where i'm just low-key hopefully you know i don't have people stalking on me goodness gracious you were just at my school. Okay. And when I pulled off, you pulled up. And then when That's weird. Follow me, That's I'll pull behind you. It's a weirdo. You're a weirdo. I don't care who does it. Whoever does it, it's a weirdo. I don't care who does it. Okay? We need to call things how they are. If a guy does it, it's weird. If a kid does it, it's weird. If a woman does it, it's weird. It's weird, weirdo behavior. You know what's funny? In society today, women do it. Oh, she gets a, a high five. A man does it, he should be assassinated. If whoever does it, you're a weirdo. Period. Because at this point, I know your car. Why do you know what school I go to? Why do you know what school I go to? That's dangerous. Why do you know what school I go to and why do you know my skin? That's scary, man. I don't understand. That's scary. Oh, she seems real proud for being a stalker. She probably don't. Once I get this restraining order, once I get this restraining order, have we ever, keep doing this shit. Have we ever She's done? stupid. Once I get this restraining order, this chick is stupid. Stupid. You're ignoring the fact that you're doing something dangerous. You're invading someone's privacy. This is uncomfortable, man. This is dangerous behavior. Dangerous behavior. I don't even know how you will find out someone's schedule. How you will find out if she, let, let's just say she doesn't go to that school. How you will find out what school they go to. What their vehicle is. Like, how much research do you have to do in the background to know all that information? That's scary. Everybody's going to look past that. Because she's a lady. I wish people would judge blindly. Doesn't matter if a black person says it, a white person, a ginger, a kid, a woman, a man, a dog, whatever it is. If it's a wrong behavior, it's wrong behavior. Why do we have such double standards for everything? Watch a guy do this kind of thing. Watch how he'll be assassinated. Assassinated. Watch a black man do this. Watch how he be assassinated. And that's the kind of world we live in. You cannot look at me right now with a serious face and tell me that doesn't play a factor. If people could judge bluntly, the world would be a better place. Seriously. It's stupid as fuck. 
the last time. I mean, there's certain words today. Once I get it, Are you listening? you keep doing this, the life is a dance. Listen, this right here? I don't care. I'm going to school. I don't care. No, you are not care. Like I just said, I'm going to say it one more time. Listen, listen, I'm going to get this restraining order. Once I get this restraining order. And you know what's funny? If you actually went through the restraining order, you will have a bunch of wimp ass dudes saying he's a wimp for it. But you're forgetting the point. You shouldn't have people lurking, spying on you, stalking you. That's dangerous. Everybody has the right to their privacy. Everybody. This is dangerous behavior. Dangerous. I don't know how well he keeps his stuff discreet, but my concern is also that. Like, are you sharing everything on social media, for example? Uh, this is just... Pfft. I'm glad I'm private. I don't like people in my business. I really don't. I don't know about this guy, but... I don't know. And a lot of people are probably the same way. People like their privacy. How do you feel if every moment of the day you get up, you go in your vehicle, and you see the same vehicle behind you? You find out it's a person that supposedly goes to your work, knows your schedule, knows where you live, knows the social media profiles. It's scary. I don't care who you are. In order. Once I get this train order, you keep doing this, we're like this must have been going on for What the fuck? Yo. I'm a fight, I'm a fight. Oh my god, is this the same person? Man, guys, be careful. Ladies, be careful. There's some weirdos out there. Seriously, this is weirdo behavior. Goodness. Yo. Yo. What the fuck? What's the note say? What the actual fuck? What's in the note? This is scary, man. I dealt with something like this when I was in grade 10. I was so scared. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. It was a lady. She, I think she made like five Facebook accounts just to, to, to friend me. Blocked all of them. Blocked. I don't remember what her name was, but at school, it seems like every time I turn around, the person was there. Facebook, Instagram. <laughs> man like this is scary stuff folks you don't understand because you probably never went through it before but for those that went through it before you can understand what i'm saying right now and what he's going through what is this what is this is this life <laughs> what is this this is this is not real life you can't look at her people you're weird. That's weird, man. Why? Why? Golly. This is why people need goals, need hobbies, need things they're going after. This is just all, first of all, creepy and a waste of time. Waste of time. Two months ago. 
I hope it's not still dealing with it now. This girl, I haven't, I've only seen her since the last time, I think twice. And then, but she calls me like every. Calls you? How did she get your number? That's scary. That's, that's like CSI stuff. <laughs> that is scary. That is scary. Scary. Goodness. At that point, it's not even healthy. It's obsession. That's scary. Yeah, I'm I'm feeling that vibe back in the day with the multiple Facebook accounts that I had to block. Ugh, gives me nightmares thinking about that. Oh my god, that's the worst. People, keep your stuff private. Keep everything private. You don't know what weirdos are out there. Seriously. This is, this is, I'm actually concerned for him. I'm concerned for him. Because people like that don't take no for an answer. <laughs> they don't. And I don't know if she has brothers, cousins, or whatever else she has. And I don't know if you get to the point she gets pissed off and, and takes it out of him. But that's scary stuff, man. Stalkers are unpredictable. Unpredictable. <laughs> Keep your stuff private. Please, for, for God's sakes, for your own safety. I'm speaking to all people here. She was trying to give me a note. I want to read it. This is a note she's been trying to give me for. I found you off IG, Coach Kells. I want you to be my gym crush. I'm not reading. I'm highway 290 North. Bro, this is crazy. This is crazy. I'm just going to end the video there, to be honest, folks. Uh, there's about like eight minutes left on this. I don't want to watch the whole thing. It's really giving me memories that I don't want to remember. But anyway, let me know your thoughts. Um, did you ever have any stalkers before? What did you do in that situation? And what would you advise someone else to avoid it? Can it be avoided? To me, honestly, the biggest solution is keeping your stuff private, being a bit low key. That's one of the best ways to protect yourself. But at the end of the day, in the age of social media, it's very tough. It's very, very tough, especially if you're like him trying to do coaching. I have coaching as well, trying to do various things to, you know, to serve people. So it's, it's tougher nowadays, but, you know, just do your best. Keep things very discreet. Keep to yourself. Don't share everything because you never know who's out there. Anyways, I hope this was also an educational video. Thank you so much for coming back to my YouTube channel. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned for more reaction videos. God bless.